Do you have an e-commerce store, a membership site, or a SaaS that you need to provide support, but you just don't know what's going on on the other end? Well, there's a lifetime deal that's going on right now that helps you exactly with that situation. It helps you view what the other person is actually viewing. You can take over and you can actually do some highlights to help them guide them how to fix the problem or how to get around. So it's pretty useful. Plus a lifetime deal, it's unlimited sites. So I think it's a great deal. So let me show you what I'm talking about by showing you the deal and how it's easy to install and use it. So. Let's jump over to my desktop right now. What's up everyone, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. The deal that I'm talking about is this one right here, Median, and it's $59 for the lifetime deal. And I'm betting that most of us are good enough with that $59 deal. Let me show you what it actually gets you. And really quickly, it's an alternative to Upscope. So it's a really easy to implement system to view what the other users are viewing, okay? So lifetime deal is $59 and you get five concurrent agents. So that means that if you have teammates working along with you, five people can jump in and well, help around people, right? To help them with the situation. And it's unlimited websites. So you can install this on any sites and you're gonna, you have, you're gonna have a display of list of people who are actually in a site and you can go take over and help them with the problem that they have. If you need more agents, you can jump into license tier two, which is $118. But like I said, most people will do fine with $59. Now, these guys integrate with most live chats, but it's not necessary to have a live chat. So let me show you which live chats they integrate with directly, and then we'll go along from there. So really quickly, let me go down here. So they integrate with Belco, Chat Beacon, Chatra, Drift, Intercom, Live Chat, Olarg, uh, Reamaze, Snap Engage, Talk to, Slask. Now, those integrate directly because the API works along with it. So it provides a link when someone's already in a session in a live chat with you. But if not, don't worry, there's still a workaround for, for example, a WordPress site. So in this case, what I've done is I've created the test in my WordPress site. I've installed the code via widget. So in this case, I've installed it in a footer widget. Here's, here's the code. And that code is provided here. So for example, let me go into my account. Here's my account. I'm going to settings, installation, and here's this code. Any site that I want to use this system in, all I have to do is install that code. So it's super easy to implement. The only drawback that I see is that it's not separated by website. So it's a limited websites, but it's not separated. So let me show you really quickly. So if I'm here as an agent, I'm gonna view, no, not here, in co-browser settings, hey, over here, okay. So right here, the visitors, I'm gonna see a long list and I'm gonna see the current website, but I'm not able to separate these to view um, certain websites or just this website. And in this case, it's gonna be all mixed right there. So that's the drawback. Hope they implement something where we can use category for websites that we can view just what we want to view, okay? So once we installed the code, in this case, like I mentioned, it's a WordPress site, and it's this one right here. It's just a test demo site that I have. And what's going to happen is that if someone goes to this site, which is right here, okay, let me go ahead and open incognito mode. Let me open the site, let me click on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it half and half, okay? So let me go half and half. You can see a new visitor just popped up there. Okay, it's kind of half there. Okay, so I have a new visitor right here just now. You can see that there. This is the website. It's my test SaaS master site. And what I'm gonna do is, like I mentioned before, if you don't have a live chat integrated, well, if you need to view a user, you can go just click on it right here. There we go. So if I scroll, I'm able to view what he's actually doing. So for example, here, he or she. And you're gonna be able to see that there. And if I goes to, for example, shop now, no, because it goes to another link. Um, this one right here, okay, quick view. Let's go ahead and view that. Jumps to that page. You can see that there. I'm actually viewing what the user is actually doing. So let's just say he's clicking on two. And this could be a hypo hypothetical case where he's having issues with some implementation, um, with the shopping cart, with something that they have to do on a SaaS, um, something's not working, and we're able to view it alongside with the user. Now, it doesn't stop there. It doesn't mean that we can just view it, we can do more with it. Now, over here on Median, there's this little bar on the top, which says, for example, display cursor. If I click on that, 
You can see that there. It's my cursor as an agent and the end user is gonna be able to view my mouse pointer. So I can say, hey, you know what? You need to click right here. Or first you need to do this, or you forgot to do that. And I'm showing them with the mouse what's going on. I can actually scroll also and show them, for example, now you're gonna view, if I click on this, nothing is going to happen because I haven't taken over. All I'm doing is showing my mouse cursor. Let me turn that off. I can do highlight also. So I could say, hey, you know what? This price is $12. Um, that's the mistake you made and you thought it was $10. I don't know, just saying this out there, all right? So I've highlighted the $12, okay? So again, I can highlight something else. The title for this, the amount, just something that I want to show. I can also take control. So if I click on that, do I want to request permission to take control? No or yes. In this case, I'll request permission. And let's go over here. There we go. There's a pop-up window. Allow agent to control your browser window. Obviously, if you're talking to them on a chat or something like that, you're letting them know what's going on, right? Because you're not gonna like magically pop in there, right? So I'm gonna click OK. And now I'm gonna go over here to median. And if I scroll here, I'm actually taking over. So if I click on something on medium, it's gonna happen for the end user also. You can see that there. View, I'm gonna add it to the cart, maybe and help them with the shopping cart. You see that the product just updated here on the left, on the, on the end user, $3. Um, I can view the cart if I click on it. There we go, and I'm doing this as an agent. So this is extremely helpful when you're having issues with a client that has a problem with a bug or he doesn't know how to do something. So it helps you to view what the problem is or help them out to solve it, okay? And last but not least, it's the draw tool. So if I draw here, see that there, I'm actually drawing and the end user is viewing it, right? So I can highlight something. Hey, you know what? It's three, it's not two, um, whatever. For, for any reason you want to do that, it's like this ugly arrow that I've just created that looks like looks more like a smiley face, but that works, okay? So that is how Medium works. It helps you take over so you can view what's going on in the end user. Help them out with the problem or show help them, well, help you show the bugs that you might have on your SaaS. So, oh, so that's what's going on. That's what the user is doing and that's how he recreates that bug. So I need to go fix it. So it helps me in that situation. But like I mentioned before, things that I dislike about Medium right now, it's that, that I can't separate sites because when you, once you have five, 10, 20 sites, you're gonna view a long list of users visiting your site and you're not gonna be able to kind of find who you want to give help to, okay? So for example, if I had 20 of the users here, um, you might have issues finding it. But if you have it integrated with one of their um, chats that works with the integration, well, it's along with it. So the user is tied with the certain link. So if you're using intercom, well, it's gonna give you the link with that specific user. So if you click on it, it's gonna go straight to that user. So that's the good part. If you don't have a chat that's integrated with, then you might have those issues where you're here and you're viewing everything and you might get mixed up. Now they might help you integrate with their API in case you are using another, another chat system. So that could be useful. But I mean, it's super easy to integrate with the code. You just install it and you're good to go. You're ready to use it. I mean, it doesn't have to be a super complex site. Uh, it could be any e-commerce store where you don't, where you have little traffic or whatever, and you're able to give users support with this. So it's super easy to help. But there you go. That is the median deal. If you guys want to check it out, that link will be provided in the description. Like I mentioned before, it's a lifetime deal. If you buy through my link, it helps me out with a small commission and it helps me make these videos for you guys. Well, I thank you all for watching. My name is George, this is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.